welcome to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you all of my newborn must-haves, newborn essentials, basically everything that helped me and my husband not only survive, but also enjoy my daughter's newborn phase. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Alexa. I have a nine-month-old baby girl. Her name is Sienna. And yes, this video is way overdue, but the great thing about that is I can also share with you all of the items that we still use to this day and that my baby has been enjoying for nine months now. Next week, I will be sharing all of my four to nine month must haves so make sure you're subscribed and that your notifications are turned on so you don't miss that video. Buying things for your baby, especially if you're a first time mom like me, can be super overwhelming. So I'm gonna be categorizing all of my newborn must haves by sleep, feeding, diapering, clothing, health and safety, bathing, travel, and other baby gear, including developmental toys and just super helpful stuff if you just need your hands free for like a second. As usual, all of the items that I will be mentioning on this video will be linked down in the description box. So make sure you check that out if you are interested in any of these baby must-haves. Okay, so let's start with sleep. I bought a lot of swaddle blankets and swaddles for my baby when I was pregnant. I actually don't suggest that at all. I recommend buying a few in preparation, but I feel like it's a trial and error type of thing. Some babies prefer to sleep with their arms up, and for that I recommend the Love to Dream Swaddle Up, I think is what they call it. We used that for a little bit with Sienna, because for a while she did like sleeping with her hands up. The ones that I will be showing you today are actually the ones that she used the longest. The first one is this blanket from Copper Pearl. I absolutely love this. The material is so soft and it's stretchy, which really helps you get a tight swaddle. It's a little bit more of a pain using a blanket than just one of those velcro swaddles but we really love this and I feel like Sienna really slept well whenever she was swaddled good with this blanket. I highly highly recommend checking out Copper Pearl blankets. They have a lot of different designs and this is one of the things that we still use to this day. Obviously we're not swaddling her anymore at nine months but we use this as a blanket for her. Now if you don't want to deal with swaddle blankets we also used these ones. These are just the velcro swaddles. These two are just from Amazon. I think it also comes with ribbons to match that were really cute. This worked great because you don't have to worry about learning how to swaddle with a blanket. This was so quick and easy and it really gives a tight swaddle. One of the more popular Velcro swaddles is this one from Swaddle Me. I think this also came in a two pack. Definitely check out Velcro swaddles. Highly recommend if you don't want to deal with learning how to swaddle with a blanket because I get how frustrating that can be. Now next on the list is a bassinet or a place for your baby to sleep. We actually tried two. We tried the Halo Bassinet Swivel Sleeper and also the Snoo, which is a smart sleeper that basically helps you soothe your baby to sleep. If you're going to ask me which one I prefer, I definitely 100% prefer the Halo Bassinet more. And that might not be a very popular opinion. The thing that I love the most about the Halo Bassinet is that the sidewall lowers and it makes getting your baby in and out of bed from your bed a lot easier. I had the Halo Bassinet right next to our bed here. So in the middle of the night when I had to get her, it was just so easy to just bend that sidewall and get her in and out of her bassinet. 100% recommend the Halo Bassinet just for that feature alone. Next up is a crib. The one that we have is from Baby Leto. It's the Gelato 4-in-1 convertible crib, so it should last her until she's a toddler. I think it actually also converts to a day bed or a full-size bed, but I really love the look of it. It was so easy to assemble. I think I have a vlog of me assembling it. If I'm going to be completely honest, I bought it because it was beautiful but I highly recommend getting one that is convertible and something that they can use until they're toddlers. Now you'll also need a crib mattress. I know there are a ton of options out there. I was personally so overwhelmed looking at all of the different crib mattresses. They can go from $50 to $200. And personally, I didn't spend that much on a crib mattress. We just went with the Graco Deluxe mattress. It was only about $80 and honestly, I've had no problems with it. I think it's water resistant. It's Green Guard Gold certified. I think the Baby Lotto crib is too. And that was the one thing that I kept seeing to look out for when you're looking at baby stuff because it basically means that it's screened for all like hard, harmful chemicals. Chemicals. But that's what we got for our crib mattress and then we also got a mattress protector again I didn't really go too fancy with the mattress protector. I just got mine from Amazon Also our fitted crib sheets are from Amazon. I just got plain ones. There are a ton of options out there I really don't think you need to spend that much for these next up is a sound machine and I absolutely recommend the hatch baby rest sound machine 
I love this thing. I think I also mentioned this in my lifestyle favorites video. This is another item that we still use to this day and I'm pretty sure that she'll still be using even when she's a toddler. I love that you can set a schedule so that let's say at 7 p.m. you hear the sound of waves and then it reminds me like okay 7 p.m. time to start her bedtime routine and then when she hears that you know she kind of knows that it's it's time for her bedtime routine. Maybe when they're newborns, they don't really catch on to that yet, but eventually they will know that, okay, when I hear this noise, it's bedtime. When I hear birds chirping at 7 a.m., then it's time to wake up. That's how we have it set it up currently. I just feel very passionate about the Hatch sound machine because I love it even for myself. Next on my list is the Owlet Sock. Now, I know that this can also go into the health and safety category, but I put it in sleep because this really helped give me peace of mind mind when my baby was sleeping and it also helped me sleep. Basically it's a sock that you put on your baby and it monitors your baby's heart rate and oxygen levels and anytime it drops it goes off. It alerts you and this just really helped with my first time mom anxieties. I know it's a little bit pricey and I just feel so thankful because somebody from my neighborhood mom group actually handed this down to me but honestly even if I didn't get it as a gift I would 100% buy it with my own money because I think this is so worth it. It. If I didn't have that sock, I feel like I wouldn't sleep and I would just be like watching her like a hawk, constantly checking if she's breathing or not. Next is the Snuggle Me Organic. This is a baby lounger. So whenever I'm on the couch or in a different room and I don't have the bassinet next to me, I will actually lay her down here so she can sleep next to me. I love that this one snuggles her. Again, newborns love to be all tight and snuggled. Now they do say to not just leave your baby sleeping on here unattended. So just keep that in mind. And I even use this even if she wasn't sleeping I would lay her down here for like a little playtime really just a place to lay her down it's easy to carry around the house next up is pacifiers love the Wubbanub this is one thing that she still uses to this day best thing about this is it's weighted obviously because of the stuffed toy so it just stays on their chest if they spit it out and I also love that now this has turned into her lovey because she's had it ever since she was a newborn now she's older this just gives her comfort they have a lot of other cute animals Animals. She has one that's a fox and then this giraffe. I also love the bibs passies. If you're sending your baby to daycare, sometimes they don't allow webinubs or passy clips um, for safety. So I actually use the bibs pacifiers. I love those because they come in a lot of really cute colors too to match your baby's outfits if you care about that. That was actually the first passy that I gave her in the hospital and she didn't have any problems at all taking that pacifier. Now on to the feeding category. Whether you plan to nurse or breastfeed, these are the items that I recommend. First up is the boppy pillow. This is one of the items that I feel so passionate about because we just use this so much. This is one of my most used items, honestly. I put this under the feeding category because I actually brought this with me to the hospital. If you watch my hospital bag video, I thought I was being extra when I was bringing this, but honestly, this was super helpful with propping her up when I was trying to breastfeed for the first time. And again, even if you're not breastfeeding, this is also a really good pillow to have to, just to prop them up and get them in the right position to bottle feed. When they're learning how to sit. You can also wrap this around their hips and just help prop them up. And even until now, we still use this because when she's feeding herself the bottle, we prop her up on here so that her head is elevated. You can use this for such a long time for so many different things. I got this cover from Amazon. They have actually a lot of covers in there and then you can just take it off when you need to wash. Next up are bottles. The bottles that we use are the Como Tomo bottles. I highly recommend this one, especially if you're breastfeeding. At least for me there was no nipple confusion at all. I also love that these are silicone. They're easy to clean. I don't have to worry about her dropping it or breaking it. Definitely recommend checking out the Como Tomo bottles. Now I definitely do not recommend buying a whole set of bottles before your baby is here because you just don't know what they would take. My baby thankfully took the Como Tomo bottles with no problems at all. But you just don't know what your baby will prefer. Next up is a bottle brush. We use the OXO one. I absolutely love this because it also comes with a little tiny brush that really helps get into like the little corners of the bottles and pump parts. I love that one so much that I also bought the travel version of it that also comes with a travel drying rack. Now this is super helpful if you're traveling, if you are pumping at work. I will do a whole video on my pumping routine.
routine at work, so make sure you're subscribed. Next is a drying rack. For us, we use the Boone one, and we also got the little tree branch for it. I really love that branch accessory for the little things like some of my pump parts, nipples, pacifiers, all of that. I also love this bottle washer bin that I got from Amazon. Especially on the first few days, I really was super paranoid about contaminating my baby's bottles or my pump parts, so I wanted a separate bin just for washing all baby stuff. I didn't want to just use this sink. Definitely recommend getting a separate washer bin for your baby bottles and pump parts just to make sure you're not contaminating it. For sterilizers, um, let's see here. So when I first got all of my baby bottles and pacifiers, I actually just used uh, boiling hot water to sterilize them at first. And then eventually I also got these ones from Adela. This is the Quick Clean Micro Steam Bag. These are so convenient. Basically all you do is put all of your bottles or pump parts in here and then put about like two ounces of water, pop them in the microwave for three minutes and then that's it. We recently got an Instapot, and if you have an Instapot, you can actually just use that to sterilize your bottles and pump parts, and you can fit so much in an Instapot, so you can do everything at once, whereas here, you can only fit so much in this tiny bag, so. If you have an Instapot, definitely just use that. Next up is a bottle warmer. The one that we use is the Advent one. It has worked great for us, no issues at all. The only thing is that this doesn't come with a timer, but we just set a timer on our phones or in the stove and it works just great. The one thing that I love about this is it actually fits the Komotomo bottle quite well and I feel like not all bottle warmers do. So just something to keep in mind if you do end up buying the Komotomo bottles. Next up is burp rags and bibs. These are the burp cloths that I have from Copper Pearl First of all, I love the designs, but I also love how soft it is and how big it is. It's super absorbent. As you can see, it's pretty big. So I highly recommend checking Copper Pearl out for baby stuff in general. They just have a lot of cute items that are also super soft. It's just so cute and high quality. For bibs, we actually just got a pack from Amazon. I'll make sure to link those down below, but nothing too fancy. They're bandana bibs that are really cute, super fashionable, and also just plain solid colors to match any outfit. Those are all of the items for the feeding category. I didn't really include any of my pumping or nursing essentials. I will do a whole different video on that. So again, make sure you're subscribed. But moving on to diapering. So diapers that we use are the Huggy Snuggler. We've used Huggies ever since she was born up to now. We still use it, really have no problems with it. That said, I don't recommend stocking up so much on diapers in the beginning before your baby is here because you just don't know if they're gonna have an allergic reaction to it. What I did was I got a lot of samples from different brands, try to see which one we like and then I also had just one box of Huggy just in preparation but I didn't stock up so much on diapers. Next up is wipes. We just use the water wipes. I love that it's 99% water and 1% fruit extract. These are super soft and super gentle. Really had no problems with water wipes at all. Another thing that you'll need is a changing pad. The one that we have is the Kikuru Peanut. I love this one because it's so easy to clean. You can just wipe it clean. It's soft and you don't need extra sheets for it which I know some changing pads do need and it also looks super good in the nursery I'm not gonna lie it's just aesthetic you know I know it's a little bit more expensive but honestly how you can just wipe it clean makes it so worth it next up is a diaper pail to hide the stink of the diapers we have the decor one we've also tried the diaper genie and honestly both work great do change the bags pretty regularly so I haven't really seen any issues with either of those next up is a diaper caddy again one of those things that I still use to this day because it's just so helpful my husband calls this my bag of tricks because I just have everything on here. I have all of her medications, all of her diapers, her wipes, and this is what I had next to me in bed when she was a newborn because it just made late night diaper changes so easy because absolutely everything was here. I just made sure that this was stocked with diapers and wipes and then it's just nice and organized next to my bed. Definitely recommend this one. This one's cute too. Just got this one from Amazon. Now I just use this for downstairs to make sure that when we're hanging out downstairs she also has diapers and wipes and that way I don't have to come upstairs um, when I need to change her. Next up is diaper cream. Especially when they're newborns, I try to keep the products as simple as possible. So I just got Aquaphor. This tub will last you forever. I mean, look at this. I mean, can you see? 
probably too bright but I still have so much of this and I've been using this ever since she was born this will last you forever I feel like but yeah this is just the aquaphor healing ointment it's for dry chapped or irritated skin it relieves diet per rash within six hours definitely love this one next category is clothing now I love dressing up my baby with really cute outfits I have baby girl clothing hauls on my channel but I like to keep them affordable because the thing is one they grow way too fast and two blowouts get a pack of onesies and also zip up onesies I say this again and again on my channel zip up onesies are the way to go they just make diaper changes so easy they're so easy to put on I don't have to worry about buttons especially in the middle of the night you don't want to deal with buttons zip up sleepers that zip up from the bottom are the best and also ones that already have fold over mittens I have very affordable options in my baby girl clothing haul that I'll make sure to link definitely get some socks for the cute little tiny cold feet I didn't get too crazy on socks I just got a pack I think from Old Navy and then mittens because oh these poor babies they just keep scratching their face a lot so definitely get mittens I just got a pack from Amazon as well I think that's also in my baby girl clothing haul and then a hat definitely get a newborn hat that is appropriate for whatever season your baby is going to be born in I know there are a lot of items in here but I do want to stress you do not have to have everything absolutely everything before your baby is here I just want to say that real quick because I don't want you guys to feel pressured all they do is eat sleep and poop next category is health and safety. first item on the list is a baby monitor the baby monitor that we use is the lollipop baby monitor I love that this was easy to move around the house if she was napping I could check on her from my phone and then eventually we moved it to her room I guess it depends if you want a separate screen then there's other options out there for us it made more sense for us to be able to access it through our phone so that both my husband and I can check on her another newborn must-have that I have here is the snot sucker and a saline spray definitely use this a lot especially in the middle of the night when we knew that she was waking up because she was uncomfortable she couldn't breathe right the snot sucker was just a lot easier to use than the ones that they give you in the hospital like those puff things definitely way better way easier to use don't worry about it going to your mouth it's not gonna happen there's a filter I know it sounds disgusting but honestly super helpful highly recommend having that and then also this thing This is a nail filer that I got from Amazon. It's just so hard and scary to groom tiny little newborn baby nails and this just makes it so much easier and it just makes sure that you don't cut their little baby fingers when you're trying to groom their nails. We, this is another one of those items that we still use to this day and it's actually really fun using it now because whenever I groom my baby's nails, she just loves looking at this light. I don't know if you can tell, but there's this little red light and she just stares at it and smiles at it whenever I group her fingers. So again, just makes life so much easier. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this one from Amazon. Next category is bathing. The first item that I have here is a little bathtub. We have one from Angel Care. We actually brought this to the sink when she was a newborn. Just make sure that they don't slip and slide everywhere. I love the Angel Care one because I feel like you can use this for a longer period of time. And it's really cheap too. I think it was like $20. Oh, come here. Hi, see, hi. She's not a newborn anymore. We'll make this quick because my camera is about to die, but I definitely recommend getting yourself some washcloths for bathing your baby. We just got some from um, Burt's Bees that I'm gonna link down below. You can also use a sponge that also has the... <laughs> yes. Also use a sponge that your hospital provides you. We, use, we actually use that one for a while. Hey. It was a sponge on one side and also kind of like a brush for cradle cap on the other side so we actually just use those from the hospital for a long time I know you can buy something similar on Amazon but the ones from the hospital were free and worked well so definitely see if your hospital can provide you those now for baby soap we just use one from Cetaphil I try to keep the products as simple as possible especially for when they're newborns I also have this baby lotion from Cetaphil as well this is something that we still use all right so my camera turned on I just really need to talk quickly because I've been recording for forever here but the next thing under the bathing category is a hooded towel I love this hooded towel from Amazon because one it's so cute and it's also super soft another thing 
thing that they can use for a long time. Now moving on to the travel category. Now definitely, definitely make sure you have the car seat before the baby is here. I think hospitals won't even let you leave if you don't have a car seat installed in your car. The one that we have is the Uppa Baby Mesa car seat. I got this one because we also have the Uppa Baby Cruise stroller and I love that you can just take the car seat, snap it into the stroller. Yes, she got my phone. Oh no! I opted for the cruise rather than the Vista because it was just a lot lighter and easier to move around. Super easy to use, it looks really nice, and yeah, definitely recommend the Up a Baby car seat and stroller. Next under travel is a baby carrier. We still use the Ergo 360 carrier, really love that one. And also we had two wraps, the Moby wrap, which I really loved, especially when Sienna was a little tiny newborn. I loved wearing her. I love that I could get things done and still have her next to me. It was just super helpful. I highly recommend getting a baby wrap or a baby carrier because sometimes you just need your hands free. But yeah, highly recommend the Ergo 360 carrier, the Moby wrap. There's also a cheaper option from Kia Babies that you can get from Amazon. The fabric isn't as soft as Moby's, but it definitely does the same thing and does the job. But the next item that I have under the travel category is this diaper bag from Hap. I showed this in my what's in my hospital bag video. I really love this one. It's so cute and I love Love that it fits a lot of stuff. I love that when you open this, you can just see everything in it. And yeah, this fits so much stuff. This also comes with a changing pad that I also recommend having for travel, but it's uh, somewhere in the house right now. We actually just use this over the weekend, so it's probably in the car. But it comes with a changing pad that you can just slip right here in the back. Honestly, when we go out and they have to bring a diaper bag, I just use this to put my stuff into. I just put my wallet and my phone in this little pocket here. So I like that it's cute, so it doesn't ruin our outfits, huh Sienna? Oh my gosh, she has my phone again. But yes, definitely recommend this one. It's cute. It is a little pricey, but again, it's it's something that I will use all the time. Next up under the travel category is a bassinet. Now, if you're traveling, you definitely need to make sure that you have a safe space for your baby to sleep. I definitely recommend getting one that can also be used as a play yard as your baby gets older. I recently did an unboxing and a review on the Baby Jogger City Suite play yard, but I really love that one because it's light, and again, it does convert from a bassinet to a play yard. We also have the Graco one, but that one was super hard to assemble and actually quite heavy so even if that did serve its purpose and it was a little cheaper I 100% recommend the baby jogger more than the Graco one because of its ease of use it's light and if you're traveling you know ease of use and how light it is and how easy it is to assemble is definitely a game changer moving on to baby gear one of the things that we absolutely loved for Sienna is the Fisher Price baby swing she would fall right to sleep whenever we would put her in that baby swing the Fisher Price definitely takes up a lot of space in your room, but I like that you can adjust the positions, you can have it swing back and forth and also side to side. And that was just such a miracle worker when she didn't want to nap, we would just put her on that swing and she would just go right to sleep. Now we also have the Mamaru swing, which also worked when she was like a month, two months, but when she got a little bit older, somehow she just didn't like staying there for very long. So although it worked and it definitely didn't take up as much space as the Fisher Price one, I think my baby, my little girl here, definitely preferred the Fisher Price one. And also I recommend having an activity gym. I just recommend having things around that you can lay your baby on when you need to have your hands free. Especially for me, this little girl was so clingy when she was a newborn. We had two activity gyms. We have the Love Every Play Gym that we still use now. I really love that one because it has different like sections in the play mat and it also comes with a little book that shows you how you can use it depending on what age your baby is in. We also had another play gym. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one with a piano. We had to insert a picture of it. I actually felt like she could spend like a good 20 to 30 minutes just laying on that play gym and looking at all the little creatures, kicking her feet to the piano. This really entertained her. It doesn't take up a lot of space and it's a lot cheaper, so I definitely recommend this one. We still have it. Another item under the baby gear category that we absolutely love is the Baby Bjorn. Bouncer. She loved this. The baby Bjorn Bouncer doesn't take up a lot of space. I did 
did get a cute cover for him for it from Amazon too. Oh my god, she wants to nurse. Daddy's gonna have to get her. She's getting cranky. Wow. My baby personally, she loved being propped up, and but obviously zero to three months they can't sit up yet. Uh, maybe some babies do, but mine couldn't sit up um, when she was a newborn yet. So the baby Bjorn bouncer was really great to lay her down. It keeps her up so she could see her surroundings, keep her entertained if she needed a little bit more of entertainment. I also have this one from Tiny Love. It attaches to your car seat. I attached this to the snoo at some point, but I mainly use this for her bouncer. It just takes me back just holding this, but definitely recommend having some things like this in handy again if you just need your hands free for a little bit. More for developmental things. Definitely recommend having some black and white books, especially when they're newborns. They love black and white. I think it's the only color they see. Just put her on the swing and took these out and she just loved staring at these. And this actually became one of our newborn routines is just flipping through black and white books. And she just loved these. So definitely recommend having black and white, either flashcards or books like this. I actually think that's it for my newborn must-haves. I feel like I've been talking for forever and my camera is about to die again. I didn't fully charge it. Again, make sure you're subscribed because next week I will be doing a four to nine month baby must-have. So make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss that video. Please, please click the thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.